Hi, Dr. Joe here with Mountain Journey, here to review a product that I've actually been looking at and have wanted for a long time. This is a CB end diamond wheel, and it will fit on my 6 inch grinder, and I'd like to just go and install it and talk about the benefits of this. It comes in this very nice package. I have a 6 inch grinder. It comes in 8 inches as well. But these wheels are really something. They're beautifully made. They're very, very heavy duty. They're finely machined and have an extremely true edge. So I'm going to replace a Norton stone that I have on my Baldor grinder here with this new CBN grinding wheel. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is unplug the grinder. Okay, that's not, that's safe. And I'm going to take these wheel guards off. They're held in place with some slotted screws that are, that cut into the cast iron of these shrouds. These wheels are heavy. I'm interested to see how long it takes the grinder to get these up to speed. This is a uh, Baldor grinder, one-third horsepower, and it has really nice Baldor lights, which are, protect which are protective as well. I will take these shields off, these covers, because we're going to need access to both wheels to take it off and to tighten it back on. These are cast iron. These are pretty substantial. So we'll take the other one off as well. Now we have access to both wheels. This takes a three quarter inch nut and this is reverse threaded on this side and, and forward threaded on this. So I loosen this up by grabbing the other, other wheel. And we'll take this off. This grinding wheel had some bushings as you can see here, but there's one left on the shaft. I'm going to try to heat it up a little bit and see if I can get it to come off more easily. There we go. Great. So now we're ready for our wheel. <coughs> the wheel comes with a number of adapters and we're going to try to select the one that is ideal for this application. So we have a number of choices here. Uh, 
that's going to be it, I believe. Yeah. Alright, I want to get this flange off so I can put this grinding wheel on and I thought I would just put a gear puller on it. Gear puller didn't quite fit, but then I just wiggled it and I'll be darned, here it is, came off. So, let's put these bushings on. Put the wheel on. Flange toward the wheel. There we go. There we go. Spring washer. I took it off. I wanted to be sure, absolutely positive, I didn't cross thread it. There it goes. We'll tighten this up. And then we'll put our shroud on it. This should fit fine now. These screws go into cast iron, you have to be cautious not to strip them either. Yeah, look at that, look at that turn, that is so great. All right, let's give it a spin. Nice. Nice and smooth. <clears throat> this Balder grinder is great. It's got a very, very high quality motor, heavy duty cast iron, and a wonderful new grinding wheel that is beautifully balanced and smooth. I think this will be very, very useful. So let's just review the advantages of a CBN grinding wheel. One, it's mass, it's heavy, it's metal. It will act as a heat sink to pull heat away from your tools, which is a benefit to help reduce the risk of burning the tools. If you overheat the tip, it becomes blue, it loses its temper and it's soft. High speed steel is not an issue. You can grind that till as much as you want you're not going to lose the temper but for other steels you can and then you've, you've got to grind that blue part off the metal uh, and then reestablish your grinding angle which isn't great this is precisely tuned and even the the wheel is perfectly tuned so you'll never have to dress the wheel like you do typically with a ceramic stone when it gets out of true when you're grinding on a ceramic stone you can make small grooves, indentations, and you have to true it up then occasionally so you have a nice flat surface to start a grind on a chisel or other, other tools. So you never need to dress that tool, big time saver. 
uh, and the diamond coating is very smooth, very even. This is an perfectly balanced wheel. When we fire it up on this grinder, there's no vibration. It's perfectly smooth. It's really great. Let's see how it works. Okay, we've got a Robert Sorby uh, gouge here. It's got, a, it's got a fingernail grind on it. I've set it up in this one-way uh, tool rest, which I think will give us a nice grind here. Let's try it out. Look at how smooth and even this is. Well, there it is. That's all we need to do. It's got a really nice grind on it. And that's sharp, ready to go. Okay, let's just revisit everything. I'm going to have to true up this uh, Norton stone here in just a little bit because it's out of true, but the CBN wheel will never need that. So I'd like to thank you for um, tuning in on this video. Please subscribe. Please click like and add a comment. If there's something I've said in, that's incorrect, let, let's correct it. I'm very sorry about that. If there are additional comments to make things better, please let me know. Anyway, thank you very much. This is Dr. Joe with Mountain Journey. Stay safe.